Today on the channel, we're going to talk about the best ready to fly drones for 2023. Guys, welcome to our special review today. I have my friends here and actually my son and my daughter here. This is Keith and this is Lauren. We're gonna fly this ready to fly high singy Stargazer today. This is the brand new update of this drone. A brand new app just came out. 2.0 is now out today and you can download that to your high singy drone. So we're gonna test that out today in this flight test, but most importantly, we're going to show four different drones in this video today that you can buy that we recommend. We've been flying drones on this channel now for almost 10 years. So there's a ton of experience. We've flown all the RTFs. And today we're going to talk about the best family friendly one, budget friendly, and maybe one of the top choices if money is no object. But for today, let's go ahead and get started. Let's charge up these batteries. We have six batteries here to fly, guys. So cool. are you excited to fly FPV for oh, the first yeah. time? Yeah. yeah. And Keith has flown before oh, yeah. in the living room indoors, but he's never really flown outdoors that much in the FPV goggles. So today, your first time flying FPV and Lauren's time mm -hmm. for flying FPV. Yeah, can't wait. Are you, are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. You excited to give it a try? What do you yeah. think, Lauren? I think I'm really excited. It's my first time and yeah. Yeah, you're ready to go. Okay, let's go outside and fly. And then we'll also show you some of the other popular drones out there. We'll put the links down below in this video so you can click and grab the one that's right for your family. Here we go. All right, guys, we're almost ready to go. But if you're brand new to FPV, I've been doing this for a long time. I've done thousands of tutorials, so you're safe with me. Today, the first thing you want to do is find yourself a nice, big, wide open field. Get in your car and drive somewhere, maybe a big open baseball field or soccer field, somewhere where there's no people around, no dogs, no animals, not a dog park, things like that. You also want to get yourself a good landing pad. I'll put a link down below to one of these as well. Go ahead and charge up all of your batteries, your radio transmitter, and your FPV goggles. The High Singy all charges up with the USB charger for the radio, the goggles, and for four at once at a time on that battery charger. So it's pretty fast. Probably uh, within an hour, you can have about four batteries charged, and you can buy extras as well. So we're going to go ahead and fire those up now. I'm going to let Keith fly first. We flip the coin to be fair, kids. And then now that uh, we have a winner of the coin toss, Keith's going to fly first. Lauren's going to fly second. First time in the FPV goggles ever. And dad's going to do a little bit of coaching during the flight. So it's good if the parents hold onto the sticks and teach you guys how to fly. If dad or mom is already flying, that'll help you out a lot. A little bit of coaching goes a long way. So let's go ahead and get a flight going now with Keith and Lauren. Here we go. Okay, it's gonna be Keith's first time flying ever, so I'm gonna take the sticks along with him and I'm just gonna kinda of coach him as he goes. And if you're a parent with your kid flying, I suggest you do the same thing, especially if you're already flying, this will help them a lot. But remember, start out your first flights, line of sight, that means flying it just in front of you without FPV, and then goggle up second for your, say your second, third, fourth flights. Let's go ahead and press that start button, first goggle up, remember? I'm gonna goggle up, wait, goggle up. Okay, now I'm gonna help you get out into the field a little bit, okay? okay. Let me uh, fly you out there, buddy. I'm gonna goggle up too, I'm gonna fly along with you. So dad's flying with you. Let's take the six, go down a little bit. Make sure you keep your altitude down in the yard so we don't hit any trees. Awesome, good job. Wait, can we fly over that tree? Well, see how the wind's blowing up there? We're gonna stay a little bit low for right now. We're just gonna kind of try to keep you in the middle. Just, just do your best to stay away from the trees and we'll be good. You really want to fly over that tree, don't you? You can do whatever you want, but we don't want to end up in a tree. Your first flight really shouldn't be around this many trees, but we're in Oregon, so it's kind of hard not to uh, be around trees. So we're gonna go down over here a little bit. Dad's taking the sticks, and this is where parents can really help out the kids. So we're just gonna go under that tree. Let's get a little bit low and fly fast. Push that right stick, Keith. The right stick's the pitch stick. That's gonna help you go forward. So yeah, push that forward. See how that makes you go forward? And then you can turn with the left stick. See how that turns the nose yeah. around? And that'll let you like zip around the yard like a race car. It really does fly like, like you're driving like an RC car. Isn't that cool? It's like a video game. Outside video game, not inside. No Xbox required. But $400, I can, I can understand if parents don't wanna uh, 
don't want to like spend four hundred dollars on this one. This one's probably one of the more premium ones. You know, this is kind of like the the PlayStation Five of uh, FPV beginner drones, if you will. So I understand parents that don't want to spend that much money on a quad, but I, I think this is the best flying one out of all the ones we've flown. We're going to show you another one in this video that records 4K, and this one's recording from our DVRs. So you can save these videos to your phone and share them on social media or with your friends. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice flying, buddy. So that was, that was all Keith right there. That was really good, Keith. You're getting used to this. So but he's, he has flown before, but just not flown in FPV yet. Uh-uh. You're getting really comfortable with that, that right stick. So don't try to crash into things. Are you trying to crash? <laughs> uh uh. Okay. All right. Oh, we were so close. Whoa. To uh oh. I'm giving you a little boost there. Just try to save you every once in a while. But you know what? If you crash, no big deal because this thing does have prop guards. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. You're probably not going to break stuff. But this is flying right. super cool Tree. gonna go around the tree all right this is all you right here all you turn 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 and turn again think about your your next turn where you're going okay like anticipate your next turn like when you're flying straight at a tree don't forget to turn before you fly okay. into the tree or oh. get too close okay turn turn cool very good buddy very good go down oh i had to help you out there you're gonna fly into the tree you want to try to fly through those grapevines right there? Oh, yeah. Just go straight ahead, down some, down some. Awesome. And All right. Go. Oh, 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 oh. So hard. So if you're practicing that, if you have like some like gaps in your yard, that's kind of like practicing like FPV racing style. Like what you see on like ESPN drones Ooh, and stuff. Cool. Isn't that cool? Dad helped you out on that one. So let's try you to go through. Press the stick straight forward here. Okay. Down a little bit. Okay, let me get you down. Straighten you up. And go straight forward there. All right, lift up the throttle, yeah, yeah, yeah. throttle a little bit, and that brings us up. The left stick brings us up and down. That's awesome. Right. Good job. Good job, buddy. Now, this, this drone doesn't do any kind of like flips and rolls and things like that, but I'm expecting that the company is going to give us more updates coming up, and they'll probably put acro mode on here eventually. But this drone has kind of like not really like freestyle capability. And in the FPV community, that's what we call freestyle when you do flips and rolls. And Keith, you've seen Dad fly like that, right? Yeah. You've seen me do that stuff. That's super cool. Oh, I think this battery is done. Look oh. at that. Wow, yeah. engine stop right into the chair. Let's check out a little oh, durability test foot. right into the bench. Yeah. Let's oh. pick it up and see yeah. if it uh, has any cracks in it. Almost into my Let's look foot. over it. Does it look like it survived? I mean, that was right into our bench. That's a good test. Yeah. <laughs> Live uh, real-time flight test. This frame, not bad. And the cool thing about this frame, guys, is that, well, it pops on and off. So if you break a prop guard, once you pop it off, you can just put a new one back on. So there it comes off just like that. And under here, everything's covered up. There's just a little tiny wire here connecting the camera right there. So if you wanted to put a new canopy on there or paint this one or put stickers on it, it's up to you to do what you want with your little drone. So I'm going to have fun with this one uh, some more since we didn't break it. Let's go ahead and get Lauren flying now on her flight oh, yeah. test of the Stargazer. Tell me how much fun that just was for your first time. Yeah, that was real fun. Was that pretty fun for your first time? Yeah. You want to try it again? Yeah, sure. All right, awesome. High fives. High five, buddy. All right, let's get Lauren on the sticks. Let's give her a try. Okay, now it's Lauren's turn. We're going to get Lauren up in the air and fly an FPV for the first time. So we're going to go ahead now, Lauren, and we're going to hit that start button again. You can't see it, but I can. So I'm going to goggle it up and fly with you, Lauren. We're recording in our DVRs. So that left stick, remember that left stick brings us up. Nice, nice launch. Okay, push the right stick forward. Whoa, right stick forward. Awesome. Over the grapevine. I'm going to turn you left, okay? Very nice. Look at you flying way up high. Look at that. Turn yourself with your left finger. There you go. Now let's go this way a little bit. I'm Daddy's going to help you get away from that big tree. We're going to try to keep it low in the yard. So remember, like, kids, if you're flying this for the first time with your parents, 
ask them to take it to a big field somewhere because we've had them as a family up in really tall trees and it's really hard to get them down out of those tall trees. So go to a nice big open field. If you have a big backyard with no trees, it really helps. But there's doing there's a lot of walking the first time you're flying a drone. So now I'm gonna get you back out in the field, Lauren, and you can take the stick. Go ahead and go forward. The right finger. Okay, there you go. Push forward. Remember that left left finger turns you left and right. Turn the drone left and right. Okay. I want to go under the trampoline. Oh, under the trampoline. Ooh, that's challenging. So that's kind of like at PV racing, like flying gaps here. I'll help you on the sticks a little bit. Okay, go forward a little bit. Down, very good. Oh, that's too high. You're going to have to go down. Left stick, very good. Very good. Now press right stick forward. Go down some. Right stick forward. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Oh, nice control, Lauren. Okay, go forward a little bit. Go forward now. Now. Oh, that's up. That's up. We bumped into the trampoline. Okay, I turn your left over stick. It. You want to go over it? Okay, I'm going to turn you around. Now push your okay, right. Cool. Left finger makes it go up. Push up. Nice. Now push forward with your right finger. Yeah. Yeah, girl. That's what I'm talking about. Seven years old. And these are made for, like, it says 14 plus on the box, but, you know, I mean, you can have your kids fly it. Just fly it with them. And you don't need remote ID on this thing. This is under 250 grams, so you don't have to register this or do anything silly like that. Awesome. Good job. So how long have we been flying? We've been flying for a little over two minutes now. Looks like you can see our voltage on the right side of the screen. 3.6 volts. And when it gets super low, it's going to start like flashing. And on the super hot days, it's probably going to last a little less time. But generally, we get four or five minutes out of these batteries, which is really good. How you doing? How you feeling? You want to go under the trampoline again? We have like a pilot here that loves to do gaps. Uh-oh, you stopped your engines right in the field. Let's see if we can start again. Oh, we got back up. Awesome. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't press down. You're going back into the grass. There. Press up. Oh, you want to land in the trampoline, okay. Yeah, that sounds fun. Okay, if you want to land in the trampoline, go over there, fly over there to the trampoline. Yeah, fly Use your right finger to go there. <laughs> Left finger makes it go up and down, okay. Do right finger, awesome, Lauren. Press forward again. Okay. Press forward again, you're not over it yet. Good turn in it. You're really learning the sticks, Lauren. I think we've got some natural pilot, drone camps pilots here. Maybe you guys can just take over my YouTube channel. You'll be flying better than Daddy very soon. Okay, a little bit forward with the right finger. Press the right finger forward. That's left. Press forward. Okay, press down. Press down. All the way down. Left finger all the way down. Yeah! Awesome. Good job. Hey, high five, sweetheart. High five. Ah, that was awesome. You gonna go get it? What did you think about your first time flying? Yeah, pretty good. You enjoyed it? It's kind of like an outdoor video game. <laughs> yeah. I bet it bounced up and down. Yeah, it did. It bounced yeah. up and down, and you landed it on the trampoline. That was super cool. You want to fly again, Keith? Oh, yeah. This is um, our doggy Happy right here. Yeah. That's Happy FPV right there. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and move on to the next drone in this series. Said, We're going to talk about the Emax Easy Pilot, yeah. a very cheap and budget-friendly ready-to-fly FPV drone for you or your family. Here we go. If you're on a budget, the Easy Pilot for $109 is the way to go. You get stickers, the quad, you get a little charger in there for USB, the manual, you get a goggles battery, and it's USB chargeable with three flight modes on there, the FPV goggles, and you get everything in one box, including extra props and a little miniature screwdriver here for this little Easy Pilot. So you also get, like I said, three modes on this one, and this one's also running on like 5.8 gigahertz. So what does that mean, kids? Well you can fly with dad if dad has a pair of goggles and you do too you can both fly together these are not high-end dji goggles or something like that you can fly with the ones that you can get for pretty cheap under a hundred dollars 5.8 is great and it's called analog fpv video most of the people fly with that still hd is nice but hey it costs like a thousand dollars to get into that or more so this is fairly cheap at 109 dollars and again i'm starting out in the easy level in the easy level two here 
And what that does is it gives you automatic stability. So if you let go of the sticks, the quadcopter just levels itself out and it doesn't flip to the ground and crash. So right here, I'm going around back behind the Christmas tree. Can I make it? Yes, I can. It's super stable and super easy. I'm going to go up here for a droney. Hello, little drone. How you doing? Nice to see you. And I mean, we can talk about how this flies in advanced mode as well. It flies a lot faster in advanced mode and the harder you push the stick, the faster this little drone will go. But if you kind of take your time getting into easy mode first, that's going to make you a much better pilot. Fly this without the FPV goggles first. It's my best advice to you guys to become the best FPV pilot that you can be. But look how fast we can rip around the house once we get into this advanced mode. Man, we are cooking with gas now. And a lot of times I'm going so fast that I miss the gap under my leg there. But man, look at that. When you really get on the sticks, you can make a lot of mistakes because you just don't have quite as much time to think about it when you're going so fast. And there I missed my legs again. I actually hit my leg and it bounced off. And that's the cool thing about the prop guards. It will bounce off. See if I can go in here in advanced mode. We could do a little droney here. A little selfie with the drone. Hello, Mr. Drone. Whoa, almost went in the, oh my gosh, I almost went in the sink. One thing you want to do is make sure you don't have any dish water or any water in your sink. Because, man, I have crashed a drone right into the kitchen sink before and destroyed one. Um, not, not the coolest feeling in the world. But now let's try out another drone that I think you guys will like. This is probably my all-time favorite, the Gap RC TinyGo 4K. It comes with a case, the goggles, DVR on board with SD card support, and a ready-to-fly radio. And this is the only 4k rtf that is available in any of these quads that we're reviewing today you can explore your house with this one you can record in high resolution find some gaps around the house which is super fun you can even create a course that's a ton of fun my kids love to do that and they're getting into it more every day uh, indoors or outdoors as well and this one flies on more power it has 2s so this one can go outside and do that full FPV freestyle like a lot of people want to do so start out indoors as a beginner fly in angle mode which means stability mode and just take your time learn how to fly slow if you learn how to fly slow first you're going to be a much better pilot when you start to speed up a lot of people get really carried away and they start banging on sticks right out of the bat and then they're going to crash into the wall they're going to hit things like the chair and solid objects are not your friend guys so uh, learn how to fly slow go behind the Christmas tree work your way around the house house go under the couch I mean this one really does have a lot of control because I don't fly these quadcopters under the couch very often and this one is great because it kind of bounces into things and it will kind of bounce back off but when you're ready to kind of turn up the throttle you can go into a little bit faster mode and horizon mode on here and really start going super fast but you still have stability so it just kind of changes the angle lets you fly a little bit quicker you can also tilt the camera on this one up or down if you tilt it up it's going to go faster if you tilt it down level you can go through the trees and do what i call tree exploring and i'm going to show you that a little bit here in a second but first we're going to go into acro mode this is a fully manual mode that this drone has that the other ones in today's review doesn't have so i can do things like come up here and at this point, I have no stability. I can do dives like this. And this little drone handles a dive. Even though it's classified as a tiny whoop, it has prop guards on it. That's what we call the ones with prop guards that are this small, whoops. And even though it has, you know, whoop prop guards, it creates more instability. But this one can handle a flip and roll without kind of getting that flight controller freak out. Uh, and that's very common with anything that has prop guards. It kind of falls through its own prop wash. And then it gives you a bad flying quadcopter. But this one's fast. It does pretty good. It comes with these goggles that have built-in SD card support on here. And I love that. And this is the quad itself. The Tiny Go in all its glory. It has four bladed props on here. They're push-on props. You don't need any tools to take these or off, which is kind of nice. It has a tiltable camera on the front, like I told you about before. It also hooks up to beta flight. You make changes. It has a pretty powerful system on here. 1102 motors, four and a half minute flight time on the 2S battery that comes with it. You can get up to four batteries on this one and that 4K SD card support like I told you about before. And full range receiver up to about a mile away with this RX. Now that's super nice. Mode 2 and Mode 1. So most people in the U.S. use throttle on the left hand side. 
pitch and roll on the right hand side of it but it does feel like a full size radio on the sticks which makes this one kind of a better value in my opinion four double a's in the battery bay in the back there for you to get flying with this one and it has the most accessories out of all of them here so you get a charger you get four up charger which is kind of nice you get one s 530 milliamp batteries from gap rc and i've been using these i still have these same batteries in my battery bin for my one s batteries and it flies great but like i said you can hook up 2s on this and fly at 2s and that is super nice uh, 4k dvr and 50 dollars cheaper than probably our, our favorite pick for out of the box the high singy stargazer um, so this one is probably again the cool one if you want a 4k video but we're moving on now to kind of honorable mention in this video that's the beta fpb cs x right here and look at this guy rip right here this is a beginner style fpb drone but it really has a lot of room to grow here because you can kind of freestyle like the big dogs with this one and you can slow it down and fly it indoors fly it in angle mode indoors and look at this this has full stability on here in this mode and we're not recording 4k on this one so you might notice a difference right here of what this video looks like this is recorded on the goggles that i'm flying right here in 5.8 gigahertz um, and so this is probably around 7 maybe 720p or something like that um, it's about a four inch screen on the inside of this goggles and it has a flip up antenna on the outside a pretty decent head strap but i feel like this one was maybe a little more squirrely than the rest of them so if you're if you're kind of looking for something that's going to be super fast when you're ready for it this one has a lot of room to grow because even seasoned experienced fpv pilots like this one's going to take you some time to master because it does move a little faster so if you're someone wanted to kind of just take it slow and cruise and learn how to fly an fpv drone kind of a lot slower than this um, i would suggest going for the stargazer or maybe the gap rc one um, this one's gonna you're gonna make mistakes with this one but i still had to mention it because it is a huge crowd favorite and a lot of people really love this one so now i'm, I'm gonna give you an example of what happens when you take this one outside in acro mode and this is kind of like the holy grail of fpv so everybody wants to learn how to fly acro and that's what you're going to move up to after you get your first ready to fly so like i said room to grow with this one you can do flips rolls power loops uh maddie flips all kinds of cool stuff with this one you can do tree dives and uh explore the neighborhood and the coolest thing about these little tiny ready to flies guys is that this these don't attract the karens you're not going to have circling minivans around you with you know angry mothers dialing 911 that there's a guy and a kid in the in the park flying a drone no one cares about these these are classified as toys and we don't need to register them so karen's be gone we're out having fun and again there i'm going for a big loop look at that big loop cars passing underneath me and no one really even notices or cares now see this x it really does rip like i love it you can also fly this one on 2s you can get a 2s figure configuration on here and this is the only other one that besides the tiny go 4k that you can fly on 2s and there i'll put it back into angle mode you see that on the left hand side of the screen that is where you can see what mode we're in and since we went out of the air acro mode now we're in angle mode and we can do tree exploring this is a ton of fun with these type of quads if you find a tree that has a lot of open space on it with a lot of out a lot of weed, leaves in there that's where you can really get in there and explore it's a lot of fun you can get away with some crazy stuff but back in the air mode this is acro mode air mode just means that we have props spinning all the time on a low rpm when you go to the bottom of the stick so that way you just don't kind of fall out of the air and most of the modes actually have air mode in it so it keeps a little bit of spin in the propellers when you're flying at all times so that way you don't drop to the ground in the olden days we didn't have air mode and that will be something that we explain to you more later in this channel uh, i don't want to get too deep into uh, the technique techniques of uh, fpv to begin with but we've had a lot of fun in this review showing you guys the best rtfs and the cetus x is definitely hands down one of the best out there for progression if you want to move up to the next level now this one also comes with a case which i love it comes with a really nice transmitter on here goggles it comes with a two up charger here with usb port 
and it has DVR and SD card support also, which I love. This one has around a 4.3 inch screen on it. It has an over the head style strap, nice foam on the front, but I'm not a big fan of this ridge right here where it kind of touches my nose. If you have a big nose like I do, you know, that's not going to be the most comfortable thing in the world. I do like the rubber grip. These are like silicone stick covers under the bottom here. You can bind up to other beta FPV quads, which is kind of cool. Right here, we can take these out, and you can see there's two batteries in the slot underneath, and you can make this 2S, and this is a lot of fun. This camera on here is also tiltable. Again, like the Tiny Go that you saw before, you can tilt this one up and down, and you can fly slow or fast. And I feel like the frame on this one is pretty durable. You can see the screw on the side there on the other side, and it comes tightened out of the box, but again, you can grab it by the back, and tilt it all the way up to about 30 degrees and you can push it all the way back down to level and that's when you can really go tree exploring with this when it's level uh, or fly slow around the house maybe go under the couch chase the cat um, and i love the extra strut support in here all the way around on the inside of this frame it's kind of hollowed out which lightens up this frame and will make it fly faster but this one i have to say i still love the cetus x and I love flying these uh, uh, motors on 2S, uh, what I call like the micro brushless sweet spot. And uh, if you see prop guards on something this small, typically we taught, we call it the, the tiny whoop uh, of FPV drones. Uh, they just got coined by Jesse Perkins, a super cool guy who, who made up the tiny whoop. Now let's go back to the bench real quick and have some final thoughts. Guys, we had so much fun today. I had so much fun seeing my kids fly FPV for the first time. I mean, they're seven years old now, and I've been doing this for almost 10 years on the channel. So uh, today was a big day for me, and this was the drone that I trusted them with. Out of all the ready-to-fly drones that I've flown over the past 10 years, this was the one that I picked. It was the high Singy Stargazer for me because when it comes up off the ground, it is super stable. And since it has unlockable speed and different modes coming up on it, as well as firmware updates, like we had the 2.0 app firmware update come out today for the iPhone and Android, that's cool because it adds more features as it goes along. So these guys are kind of future-proofing this one. But as a beginner, also what's important is that you pick one that is going to be super stable and flies good and slow at first. If you get something that goes too fast, people end up breaking stuff, hitting the wall, hitting like a chair in the dining room, and then you have a broken quadcopter. And that's really a bummer when you have um, somebody younger or even for yourself. It just It's just not fun when you break stuff. So this one is a great one because it starts you out very slow and it builds up your speed as you fly. And as you level up in the app, every time you reconnect this to the Bluetooth on your phone into the High Singing app, uh, now the 2.0 app, it's going to update and, and kind of let your quad fly faster as you go and as you progress. That's pretty cool. So after you fly, say, like 20 batteries, you're going to be ripping around the house and ripping around the backyard and have a lot of fun. And I'm hoping that they release Acro on this sometime soon. Now, this is the one that you don't have to use a computer on as well. So that's kind of cool. This is our number one choice for 2023, just because you don't have to hook it up to your computer. You don't have to put beta flight on your computer. You don't have to use USB cables. And if you break this frame, the quad parts just pop off and you pop a new top on with the prop guards and you're ready to go again. And also you can get extra batteries. So you got a four up charger, the transmitter itself, and the goggles with DVR record your video. So this one's probably our best pick, but it's also the priciest. So if you're a parent that doesn't want to spend $400, I get it. I'm a parent too, and I'm not spending $400 on a lot of toys for our kids. So uh, we're a pretty middle class family, as most people are, but we also have to watch our budget. And if you're on a budget, again, like we're kind of just rehashing through these in this last part of this video. And, you know, if you're still sitting there, you're probably really wanting to pick one of these. If you're on a budget, pick that Easy Pilot. They also make another one called the Easy Pilot Pro. I think that one's about $200, but that one's gonna fly a little bit faster and give you a little bit better camera quality. So the Easy Pilot, the original one is $109. And you can't go wrong with that one because that one flies out of the box. Then the first day you can be flying faster than this one. This one takes time to level up, which as a beginner is good for you, but the Easy Pilot is just gonna kind of like 
let you use the three different modes that it comes with right away. So um, you can get in more trouble with that one versus something like the, the Stargazer. So, um, but again, that one's $109. If you just want to have fun with FPV and jump into it, try it for a hundred bucks, that's not a bad deal. Uh, my Probably my favorite pick out of all of these, I gotta be 100% honest with you still, it's the Tiny Go 4K. I love it, it flies on 2S, it flies on acro mode, horizon, and it flies on agility mode, so you can have stabilized mode and all that as a beginner. But I love that it records 4K. So if you go back and look at all these videos again, the quality that we recorded in those videos, the best one out of all of them was definitely the Tiny Go 4K. And that one's $50 cheaper than the Stargazer. So, I mean, you know, it's up to you to pick depending on what your budget is, because everybody's budget is is different. Um, and, and our honorable mention, probably going to be the Cetus X from Beta FPV. That's one of the big crowd favorites. You can fly that one also on 2S, and you can fly acro mode eventually and do freestyle with that one. So the two in this video that you can go out and do freestyle with that actually perform really well on 2S is going to be the Cetus X and the tiny go 4k it would do flips and rolls and all that cool stuff but don't end up in a tree uh, like me most of the time but uh, you'll have fun with it progressing and advancing as you go if you want to take the slower road uh, the, the the road a little less speed to begin with if you have somebody who's a younger kid start up with a stargazer and then uh, level up to working with beta flight and other things like that in the future. So um, that's an open source free program that we use here in the FPV community. And we know it and we love it. And if you're getting into FPV, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna move up to beta flight, hook up the USB cable, and then you're gonna be off and doing flips and rolls in acro and flying FPV freestyle uh, pretty quickly. And the kids advance really quick. It's a lot of fun. So I, I definitely would love you to engage with us. Subscribe on the channel. Jump in our Discord. It's a lot of fun. I'll put that link down below. We're over a thousand pilots strong in there now for the FPV community for drone camps. And we talk about FPV 24-7. It's a ton of fun. You can check these out in the links down below. I'll put some discount codes down there for you. Uh, we'll talk about Get FPV and Banggood and uh, Emacs as well, Emacs USA. Some of these ship directly in the USA, so it's not like you gotta wait for a long time. Check those links out down below, and I will see you on the next one, guys. I'm Justin Davis. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I sure did it. It was uh, uh, close to my heart today, flying with my kids, so made my day. I hope it made yours. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.